guys. And there you oh, go. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thank yeah. God I didn't see that. Oh, yeah, my you, God. Yeah, you thought I was playing. Yeah, I saw yeah. another trailer. Yeah, not guys. even. Oh, shit. Yeah. Guys. Th they gave away the plot twist. <laughs> yep, that, that they was They gave it. away the plot twist. So not only do they show you everything, but, you know, what's even worse, showing everything apparently works. That uh, sh the, the show everything approach it's effective now, so they, they they're not don't unless you're living like these guys and somehow you <laughs> you manage to avoid the trailer, don't expect that kind of marketing anymore because there you go. No one gives a shit. They're gonna put it all out there because they wanna show you as much to get you into the theater. Hey everyone, double toasted live in Los Angeles is right around the corner. Saturday, April 27th, 8 p.m. show at the El Porto Theater for a night of comedy, games, and that after party. Now, here's the thing. There are less than 35 tickets available for this show, which means that it will most likely sell out. So get your tickets by going over to DTMerch.com. Click that banner in the middle of the page. It will take you to X1Entertainment.com, or you can just go to X1Entertainment.com where you can get your all-access VIP and general admission tickets. But if you get the all-access and VIP, there are many perks included with that, including the price of our after party being included in the price of the all access and VIP tickets. Or if you just like to buy a ticket for the after party, you can go to Double Toasted Live in LA after party. It will take you to our Eventbrite page right there. And either way, whatever you're gonna do, we're looking forward to hanging with you soon in LA and we will see you soon. Thank you. You know, it's too bad it's impossible. It's too bad that it is impossible to market movies the way they used to, the way they actually, the way they should, not the way they used to, the way they should sometimes. You ain't gonna get it like that today. You know, where they they they, they show nothing. They just show you the setup mm -hmm. for a movie, not the premise, just the setup. Yep. And if you wanna find out what happens next, you gotta pay your money and go see the movie. I'll wait for them to come to home or whatever. Uh, you could do this back in the day, because some people say, man, what, what the hell is wrong with you? They can't do that. You know they gotta show everybody everything. Oh no, my young friend. <laughs> oh no, man. Back in the day, they believe it or not, they used to get away with just showing you like maybe the first 10 minutes or 15, 20 minutes of what a movie's gonna be about and leaving it up to you to find out the rest. Well, I remember not too long ago, it was it was the 90s. A little movie called From Dusk Till Dawn mm. came out. Oh no. <laughs> I went in not knowing what that was about. Yeah, many <laughs> people came out like Martin, what the f was that? <laughs> And it was almost a good thing. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. They ain't tell me there's gonna be no vampires in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Even though they show you bats on the phone on the post. Man, I don't tell you. <laughs> I know, yeah, well, that's, that's so damn small. You don't even see that shit. They gave you hints. The movie's called From Dust Till Dawn. They got bats and everything up there, but the the the, the poster got blood all on it. But yet, people did not know. They oh. surprised. They they actually they actually asked people, when people went to see the movie, they actually asked them to stand on rugs so they could yank that shit out from under them. <laughs> <laughs> Though to be fair, the movie was much better before the vampires showed up. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> just, just my opinion. Apparently his and his too, and maybe some of y'all out there. Oh, I ain't seen that damn movie. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> actually, Yikes. it's- Man, it's, I, ain't, I ain't got no plans on watching that movie. It's, it's interesting. I've only yeah, seen it a clip. Is interesting. I've seen a clip, I've seen the wrong clip. It's, no, Tarantino this, going crazy. Oh, yeah, <laughs> listen, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of this movie right now there's there's things that they do in this movie that i just well maybe one day we'll do a retro review of this and we'll talk about it but it is an interesting time in filmmaking where these guys out there you know they were these rebel filmmakers who were doing things that nobody else was doing and nobody was doing a movie like this back then it's true and nobody's doing a movie like that today because they're like well you're gonna show every goddamn thing so what's the point yet there's somebody that tried to and even they couldn't do it uh, and they you know and they gave up before the movie came out Abigail, oh. Abigail, the movie talking about right now. So the movies, look, nobody's spoiling everything. All right, you know what the movie's about. You know mm -hmm. the movie. I, let me just say this. I will say this real quick. All right, if you don't know anything about this movie, then please, 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 go. Now that's for you, but that's also for us. That was, I, that was me. Because I don't want to hear your ass talking about. It. Man, they spoiled that for me. Can I tell you something? Yeah. What? I went in this movie and I didn't know what it was about. Me too. Really? I didn't. Yeah. I didn't see it. I didn't yeah. see a trailer. I, I, knew I didn't know something cast. horror related. But I sat down. Even the person I was sitting next to, I said, "Man, I don't know anything about this." Movie. I didn't know. I didn't know no more. I didn't know nothing. Oh. I didn't see a damn thing before I saw this movie. And so, I'm. And that's how you're supposed to watch okay. it. Okay. Yeah. 
So y'all never moved from those rocks y'all living under. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. That and was, I was so glad. I that, is, yeah. that is cool. No, that is very cool. There are some people out there, as you see, some people who do not know what this is about. So please go along your merry, and I mean this in a com- <laughs> I mean this as a compliment. Go along with your merry, ignorant way. Do not listen to another word we say right here. Leave, and then go see the movie for yourself. Before the internet spoils it for you. Yeah. Before the trailer spoils it for you. Before I spoil it for you. (laughs) Then y'all mad at me. Are you gone? Nah. You're still here after this point. That's on you. All right. Three, two, one. All right, you asked for it. (laughs) But I will say this. They did okay, so y'all didn't know, Yo. but that doesn't. But they put it out there. Yeah, okay. I, yeah. I, okay. I saw the trailer this yeah, morning. The, the, I was like, what the trailer the? tells you everything. I was like, that's yeah. unfortunate. The trailer yeah. gives away everything. That's, pretty much. that's really unfortunate because they, it, the, the way the movie's set up, they right. kept it secret for a long right. time. Yeah, no, the 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 trailer. I'm not spoiling anything. The trailer puts it out there, so I would say that you know most. I would say 85% of the people out there, they know what this movie is about because the trailer's not even trying to hide it. Hell, the, the poster kind of tells you what it's about right there. Hell, I had these black women behind me talking about, they were looking at the poster. And this is no, this is no, I'm not lying. These black women sitting behind me talking about, ooh, you tell about, about the poster. That, that girl about to go off. <laughs> that girl, shit. I mean, yeah. That girl about to tear shit up. Yeah, I mean, that's the only thing. And by I- the way, I'm not being stereotypical or <laughs> racist. They talk like that. I actually had to get up and move. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, 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 I heard, yeah, I heard, I heard about that. I heard, I heard yeah. you move. And I wasn't mad, but they would. I, I, man, I knew it. Look, listen, y'all. There's a certain type of black person when you hear them talk, you know they ain't gonna shut the <laughs> through the movie. <laughs> That's funny because him and Dinger was like, I think Corey just walked out of the movie, and we were both like, No, nah, he just, he just no, changed seats. I'm glad they had a good time. Came but, to where we was at, <laughs> but, but I knew those women weren't gonna shut up. The mm. moment I heard "girl," I was like, They ain't gonna be quiet. Oh, then you were sitting by them. Yeah, oh, I can hear them. Oh, oh <laughs> shit, I heard them. Shit, I, I heard they were talking. To the, they, I knew it. They were just talking, talking, talking. I said, this conversation going to carry on for this movie right mm-hmm. here. Girl, I watched this show. You watched that show? You need to watch this show. Girl, girl. I was like, oh, they're going to be girl into the whole movie. I know what they're going to do. And I ain't, listen, some of y'all going to say, damn, Corey, you worse than that Good Times trailer. You sent up in. <laughs> no. Worse than me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you heard them? Yeah, no, yeah. I was in the back and I heard them. I was like, God damn. I, like, I knew up. exactly what was going to happen. Some girl, you see that show? Did they talk all through the movie? Yes, yes they did. I heard them like every every time some little thing would happen. Oh, like I can't hear the. Mm-hmm. Of them. That's what you heard. Smacking, girl, and uh uh-uh. uh. Oh, I heard it, man. I'm all these things. I'm not lying about. They were there, and I heard. And 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 they're doing things, talking to the characters on the screen. <laughs> uh uh-uh, uh, I know you ain't gonna let them yes. you like that. You heard that. <laughs> I heard that shit. Let them talk to you like that. I was like, I knew it. I made the right choice. <laughs> you heard that part? I, I did hear that. Uh-uh. I did hear that. I pursued like, you know, that. You ain't gonna let them do you like that. I was like, oh shit, here we go. I uh, knew it. So you were sitting right next to them? I was sitting right in front of them. Oh, and no. I got my ass up. So the moment I heard them talk about, girl, Abigail, <laughs> she about to go up. I was like, and Corey's about to get up. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm gonna get just stood there. Then. Yeah, <laughs> man, I got the <laughs> out of there. And I, but, but, but point is, even they knew what was gonna happen in the movie and they were looking forward to it. Mm. And, uh, and they knew because they saw the trailer and they were excited because they knew the big twist in this. What's the big twist? Wow. Well. Let's go ahead and watch the trailer and we will elaborate more on the story along with giving our reviews after this. See you in 24 hours. <laughs> Listen, when somebody looks at you like that, go and just leave yeah. right then. You know the door is open. Well, yeah. Well, well, ahead, any kind out. of premise of you have to spend the night in this haunted mansion. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In no, the middle of nowhere. No, no, I ain't doing that. <laughs> yeah, and then somebody talking about look, looking at you right before he shuts the door. Right, yeah. <laughs> Good luck. No, <laughs> hell no. I tell you, can I go now? Can I be like, why do you need all of us? Yeah. <laughs> right. And why you get the leaves? And there you oh, go. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thank yeah. God I didn't see that. Oh, yeah, you, my God. Yeah, you thought I was playing. Yeah, I saw yeah. another trailer. Yeah, no. Not even. Oh, shit. Yeah. Guys. The, the, they gave away the plot twist. <laughs> yep. That, that they was gave it. away the plot twist. So not only do they show you everything, but, you know, what's even worse, showing everything apparently works. This is the trailer that those black women saw. Mm-hmm. 
Abigail about to go off. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's what. Wow. That's why they thought that. So it's even worse that that uh, sh the the show everything approach is effective now. So they, they they're not. Don't unless you're living like these guys, and somehow you <laughs> you manage to avoid the trailer. Don't expect that kind of marketing anymore because there you go. No one gives a shit. They're gonna put it all out there because they want to show you as much to get you into the theater. So they can't rely on the marketing gimmick of uh, saving the twist for the movie. That's done. In fact, those days are kind of done unless you're lucky like these guys right here. So, you know, this movie's kind of kind of stand on its own to be good. And I'll say this as a start for such a I think it's a great premise because what you have here, as you saw by the trailer that told you, uh, <laughs> you got a. Uh, you got a group of criminals pretty much pulling a heist, pulling, a, you know, a, a caper. They've been hired to go in and uh, kidnap this girl and hold her for ransom from a rich guy for $50 million, which they're going to split amongst each other and get $7 million a piece. Turns out that the chick that they're, the little girl they're, they're kidnapping, well, she ends up being a vampire and thus the tables have turned and now they're trapped in the house with her. And as usual, if you're trapped in the house with a vampire, you know, you got to try to find a way to get out of die. <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah. So, you know, very straightforward premise right there. But sometimes straightforward premises are some of the best premises. And I think that that's actually a great premise. You know, these guys that go in and tri kidnap this girl, they end up kidnapping a vampire. That's a lot. That's fun. That's yeah, fun yeah, to yeah. me. You know, and, and, and we've seen this before, too. This whole thing of the the twist on the modern vampire. You know, you're trapped with this vampire being hunted by a vampire. You got to hunt down vampires. And, hey, you know, all that stuff you heard from back in the day, it was all bullshit. You know, uh, garlic doesn't work, maybe, uh, crucifixes or whatever. Now you got to find other means to kill a vampire, which makes it that much harder. You know, we've seen that before right there. Um, also, we, we know we just did a review where I brought up a lot of Tarantino references mm -hmm. right here. You know, we brought up right here, uh, another Tarantino reference from Dust Till Dawn, and yet we're going to go for another one right here. You know, they. Um, this is also in addition to being a little bit of Dust Till Dawn, is also sort of Reservoir Dogs. You know, they bring mm -hmm. in all the guys in, mm -hmm. and no one knows each other, so they got nicknames. Yeah, they get <laughs> you know, uh, a la Reservoir Dogs, they all get different uh, nicknames in the movie. Who's the girl? You don't need to know her name. Let's <laughs> see, this real quick. Thank you. Just give me that <laughs> shit. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny right yeah. there. Oh God. <laughs> See you in 24 hours, my lovely pack of rats. See right there. That's when you like this. Yeah, he just gave it. Yeah, yeah. The, he gave with the twist right there. Yeah. I'd be like, move. I'm yeah. out. Here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So as you can see, all given nicknames, all being in, in charge with a guy that they don't know too well. They don't know each other. Very reservoir dogs in the beginning, but also, you know, it's uh, again the uh, as we. It's funny because, like the last movie, I feel like I'm repeating myself right now. Uh, you have a pack of criminals where we have seen these types before. Mm -hmm. and we saw it in, <laughs> we saw these types in the last movie. <laughs> you know, the, except, now that I, I told you, you could kind of mix and match them and interchange them, you know, so unlike the last movie, because it was a period piece, mm -hmm. it was World War II, here we, uh, we, we have the hacker, that's a new one here. Uh, we got the getaway guy, we got the, 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 the leader who's unpredictable and twitchy, yeah. we got, um, we got the muscle. We got the muscle. muscle. Yeah. Uh, you got the marine. Whoa. Well, we got some new ones right here. I'll tell you, this, this you know, we don't always see the medic, you know, just in case something goes yeah. down. So that that's kind of a new one. But and, and I love and the sniper. You get sniper. You got the shooter. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's true. So you know, uh, again, we've seen these kind of uh, pick your crew stuff. before you go on your mission. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But for me, I would say, despite again the sometimes over familiarity of what we have right here. And despite that the twist has been revealed very openly by the studio itself, I think it works. I don't think, see, that's the thing. I don't think it needs the twist to work. Would it have been nice? Yeah, but you know, if it had been the twist and that made the movie, then the movie probably wouldn't be that great. You know, this it, it needs to work besides that. And I think it does. Uh, I do think they have a great cast and they got a bunch of characters with personality. Uh, you like. Coming in with not knowing anything, there's so much set up with the mystery and the tension of mm. the kidnapping of the little girl. Yeah. And then there's these yeah. characters who don't know 
or don't even seem to really like each other, but they're they're stuck in this house and there's the mystery of what is really going on. But the tension between them, I found juicy and- Jack! <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry, it's only he. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry yeah. about yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's all this stuff with the characters. So there's a lot of like, ooh, I, what's gonna play here? Um, I, I mean, you know, like Julian, I had the advantage of not knowing Abigail was a vampire. So I'm just so like, what's it gonna be? And, they, and they're talking about, maybe there's this assassin who's coming in killing yep. people. And yeah, what's what's that about? So the reveal of her, I was like, something's up with her. And it's like, oh, she's actually a vampire. Mm -hmm. I was like, wow, this is this is new. This is a really good premise they got going here. Yeah. Um, so I'm I'm with all that. Okay. Okay. Well, I, 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 I could continue. I okay. Mean, well. Okay. Well, I'll go ahead. No. Um, yeah, I think the best way to experience this movie is without knowing anything. Like, I didn't know the summary. I didn't know who was the cast in here. I didn't know about the, the, the whole trailer and everything because that showed way too goddamn much as me just rewatching it. Uh, but me me watching it, I'll just say this. The comedy is what I think will be overlooked. Well, I thought it was going to be overlooked, but then you brought it up. But I thought it's what kind of what stood out to me in this movie. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm like, wow, like it's it's serious, but that comedy just it it just fits so well. Mm -hmm. It just it, yeah. it works. And I'm loving it. Uh, the cast of characters you have here. All of them to me were great. There was there was nobody I, I that I didn't dislike. I think my favorite character, uh, uh, Angus Cloud. I think it's his yeah. name. Ang Angus Cloud. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know he yeah, passed he, away. Yeah, this, he was from uh, uh, Utopia. Utopia. Yeah. Utopia. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's yeah. They, they actually did a tribute to him. I think he was. Yeah, the I character just in the movie. seen him in a movie, and uh, I think it was a uh, uh, lucky lucky number, a lucky ticket, or something. I saw it at uh, at Fantastic Fest, and he was really good. At it. <laughs> yeah, no, but, he's, but he's no, playing he's, the same character. Yeah, both oh, he is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, this, yeah, he's look. He, he <laughs> on drugs. He, he's smoking <laughs> weed before every scene. Yeah. After, after, yeah. He's just being. Yeah. And, uh, you know, when he's kind of mumbling everything yeah. he says. Yeah, he's a he's more like a, a high ass Eminem. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah man. <laughs> Shit, I'm a good getaway gun. What you, what you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Can somebody translate? Me? What I don't need no translation, man. I'm clear like a muff. <laughs> I was like, but, but no, no. I was just saying, every everybody did great. Uh, there, there was some some downers for me though, but I'll get into that in okay. a little bit later because you probably might have the same criticism. Yeah, maybe. You know, I, I would say this. I agree with you on the comedy, mm -hmm. and I agree with you on, on on the on the you know that there were probably some other criticisms that I have, and I do. Uh, you know, because you know I'm talking about how you've seen these types before. We just talked about it with another movie. But I think that this movie, those 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 cliches and those stereotypes I'm talking about, this movie embraces that man, you know, and I think it embraces it in a in a in a very creative way, because there's a whole scene where the character of uh, Joey and uh, I'll sh in, in, Joey's uh, she's the the medic, yeah, yeah. what what Melissa Ber Beretta, uh, yeah, she, she was in Scream, she was in Scream, Melissa Beretta, yeah, not she, anymore, she, but... she plays the yeah, not anymore, <laughs> but she plays the character of Joey. And they got a great scene where Joy plays a game with everybody in the room and she's having to guess everyone's type. And so that's a way of taking these characters that we know that we are, you know, we've already guessed who they are uh, ourselves and uh, and just kind of turning around and making it something that's creative and more entertaining. You know, they know what we expect. They know what we, that they're ahead of us. They know that we're predicting this. So they just take it and embrace it and just play around with it. Mm -hmm. uh, and, I, and I like that with this, man. And they also have these really great scenes where Abigail, since we all know that she's a vampire, they have these great scenes where Ab Abigail's just driving everybody crazy in the movie. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, they, and they need some better help. You know, oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Listen. Listen. Yeah, it was dirty. That was dirty. That was dirty. Listen, over the course of the last week and a half, there's so many spots where I expected it to come off. <laughs> so I was like, okay, fine. You, you, you didn't hit, it, you, hey, listen. You didn't hit us with that in a while. But, but man, who wouldn't need some therapy if you were trapped in a house with a ballerina dancing vampire man if you got out you would need some better help too people this portion of the show is brought to you by better help and better help is online therapy and it's a great way if you haven't tried therapy but if you especially haven't tried online therapy uh this is a great place to start right here see the thing is is that people have this stigma about therapy first of all you know it's for really heavy things out there, you know, heavy depression, thoughts of harming yourself. You know, I'm just, 
man, I'm just ill, you know? Nah, you know, listen, there's all kind of therapy out there, but I want you to consider therapy as a way of just organizing your mind. Think of it also as you go to the gym, you work out to get your body in shape. Mm -hmm. You know, your mind, you know, you declutter your house and your office and your space so that you can work better. Your mind might need that too. And that, that's, it's as simple as that. Nothing has to be hard or shameful or heavy about this. I promise you, if you clear your mind, you're probably going to start reaching goals that you set for yourself. You're going to start working better. You probably, you know, you're going to start thinking clearer. That's what it's all about. And maybe some of the other things I talked about too. So think about giving online therapy a try. Online therapy is cool because, well, if it's online, then it's convenient. It means that it's flexible too. It can suit your schedule. Uh, you can do it your way. You know, some people like being face to face with somebody, my video call. If you don't want that, you can also do a phone call. And the therapist that they give you, well, if it's not working out, no questions asked, no charges, you can ask for another therapist and they'll be more than happy to switch for you with somebody that you do vibe with better. So to get started, all you gotta do is fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched up with that licensed therapist. And as I said, you know, switch anytime if it's not working out for you. Now here's something that's gonna give you real peace of mind. Saving a little money. Oh, you! F I feel Ooh. better already. Ooh. Now you have my attention. Yeah. Yeah. You got my attention Ooh, now. I feel, man, I feel more calm already. <laughs> so here's what you do. Go to betterhelp.com slash double toasted and you'll get 10% off your first month. People, I want to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring this portion of the show. And I want to thank all of you out there for getting our backs, making us feel better and supporting us. Thank you. And now getting back into the review right like here. Corey don't try to do like he set up his segues anymore. He just yeah. goes into that shit now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man. Hey, man, I keep you on your toes. Y'all were getting too smart for me. <laughs> I got to have to think about other ways to defeat you. <laughs> All right, um, I'm going to catch on. <laughs> yeah, what's the name? when you do, you know, hey, keep me on my toes. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I I I like this ongoing. Uh, <laughs> this, this, what, what would you call it? This uh, uh, this this I this know. I don't know fight. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, uh, so you, uh, Julian, you were talking about the comedy in here, man. You know, this is very much like I said. They've embraced the silly sides of uh, of this movie, and, and purposely so. And not everybody can do that skillfully, but. That is the brand of the directors here. They go by the name Radio Silence. They're like a band now. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. the, the names individually are Matt Bettinelli, Open, and Tyler Gillette. And they, they, you know, that's their brand doing the horror comedy thing. They did the, what, the last two screen movies, I think? Or was it just the last one? I think just the last just one. Just the last one. So they did the last screen movie. At, you know, we know that. Uh, uh, but a movie that they did, and really this movie is a take on another movie that they did. This movie really is Ready or Not with a vampire. That's what no. I was thinking. I thought I was tripping. No, I'm, they, I'm like, I'm like, this feels like Ready or Not. No, they directed uh, this movie, Ready or Not, which is a movie I really enjoyed. Um, they just traded out one supernatural element for another here for the <laughs> twist. And by the way, that is a movie where they did market it successfully without the majority of people knowing what it was. Right, right. Why couldn't they just do it again? <laughs> exactly. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. a different studio. They're like, look, nobody's going to come if you don't tell them. Yeah. Oh, it's universal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So this movie, I mean, the the uh, the structure feels like it in a way almost uh, the the settings. Yeah. You know, it take, takes place in a big spooky mansion, yeah. you know. So, <laughs> so yeah, you know, they. Uh, th this feels like an extension of that movie a little bit. Uh, but like I said, the comedy helps out a lot with this because like I was saying, man, I think it I think it balances out the characters very well because the thing is, most of these characters, okay, so most of them are smart, but not so smart that you can't laugh at them because they all something. Sure. They yeah, all, yeah, yeah, yeah. They all manage to mess up something, no matter how, how smart they're trying to be. Also, uh, you know, we're, you know, uh, uh, you know they, they, we're laughing at them and that makes us like them, but we're not laughing with them, man. Uh, but when they die, it's, you know, it's like, oh, that kind of sucks, literally. But it's like, uh, you know, and, no, I really didn't mean no pun by that. <laughs> but uh, but it's like, you know what? You were a shitty person. Anyway. Yeah, so, yeah, there is like, that. Yeah, it's like, you know, I, I really I shouldn't be like you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You had to go they anyway. They just kidnap a little girl. I mean, I, I ain't no fan of uh, Abigail, but. Yeah, but they didn't know. See, that's the thing. You kidnapped a little girl, and, you, and they were talking about beating the shit out of her at yeah, one yeah, point. Yeah. It's like, and it's every time I you laughed. You see my face? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You little bitches. Yeah. Yeah. I like, I like 
God okay, damn. You know what? All y'all need to go. <laughs> no, I, I, I love when she turned that back on him. Like, weren't you in here just a little while ago? Talking, <laughs> yeah, yeah. talking all that <laughs> shit. Yeah. Yes. Oh, well, you know, now you say it like that. It does sound kind of bad. <laughs> hey, girl, you know I was playing. <laughs> I wasn't going to actually do nothing. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, they, they, they do manage to keep a wedge between these characters to where, again, we are able to have fun because when they, look, when, when somebody goes, it's like, well, shit, you know, I wouldn't. I really wasn't liking your ass, you know. You had to go. I mean, you no good. You're dirty. Mm -hmm. um, and the characters are very fun, for me at least. You know, Dan Stevens, man. Dan Stevens, who just, this guy, he has such range, man. Mm -hmm. He's a British yeah, actor, yeah. but he's got a New York accent that fits his slimy ass in here. Right. He's a terrible person, but, man, <laughs> he's so funny. I can't, I was, I couldn't wait for the scenes that he showed up in. Um, and we just talked about Angus Cloud. You know, he's dead now. Rest in peace. But uh, he's a... Uh, like I said, the dude is just, you can't help but like him because that's what he does, man. He just smokes weed before he goes right. into any scene. Yeah. He just plays himself. Yeah. I just have fun with that character, man. He And he does, he, look, he's old. He's, he's he's just a little wigger, man. You know? yeah. <laughs> and, he, and listen, if you're going gonna to wig out, wig well, man. Sure, you know? sure. <laughs> Yeah, I just yeah, cause he's laid back and the whole time he like you know the moment he sees a girl, hey girl, I thought What's you, your name? Thought you <laughs> feeling me, girl? I saw you looking at me. You you got a boyfriend? Or something? Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, he had me laughing, he had me laughing, and we just showed that scene with Catherine Newton, man. Catherine Newton, uh, you know, she's first of all, she's just. I think she's adorable. I don't know everything I've seen her, and she just charms me. Oh, but yeah, yeah. but she she you've seen her, and she's on the come up, and she's showing people just how how great a comedic actor she really is, man. Uh, she's got a good agent. She does. She do, yeah. But she's very talented. She's very yeah. funny. She's yeah. gotten she's got more funny in 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 her roles recently than mm -hmm. what she used to be. She's still playing teenager. She's 27 years old, actually. So, yeah. <laughs> so she, she I mean, but, she, but she look young, though. I know she why. does. I'm why. just saying, you know, when she, you know, we get to that point now, you can be building you know, high school students at 30. You can't uh, be doing that <laughs> shit now, right? We're going to call you out on that shit. Uh, man, Kevin, Kevin Durant, where your big ass been? I know. He's yeah, been he for a while. He was great in this. He was great. He's because he, he, he plays exactly what you expect him to be. He's the muscle, but he's the big dumb muscle. Yeah. <laughs> but he's a big dumb Canadian. <laughs> He's a big dude, man. He's a and uh, he hasn't been around for a while. He's about to be in the Planet of the Apes. He's gonna be one of the apes. But I was like, damn, oh shit, he's gonna be a big ass ape. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was the thing seeing him in this. I mean, I always you know always known him to be a big dude. But he was standing next to some people. I was like, he's a giant. Yeah, he's huge. <laughs> yeah, it's like he'll be in the Planet of the Apes. All you gotta do is just go on set. You ain't gotta get. You ain't gotta put you in no makeup or be King Kong. Yeah, shit, you ain't, gotta be no, you ain't gotta be in no CG or nothing. Yeah. <laughs> shit, just get on set. Talk about who? who. <laughs> No, nah, he's great though. He's very yeah. funny. He's very funny. He's a character actor, man, but I've seen him in a lot of things and he has a lot of range too. He's very funny. They, you know, another cliche that's in this movie, they're in a big spooky mansion. I mean, this this some shit straight out of Scooby-Doo. Oh, absolutely. You know, <laughs> you know, traps and all like, this kind like of I said, stuff. The old classic, you must spend the night <laughs> in a haunted mansion. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> like, wait, why? <laughs> and and then, you, then you'll inherit $2 million. Yeah. <laughs> I would tell you, man, this, we just, another thing, theme tonight is video games. This would make a fun video game trying mm. to get out of it. It yeah, would be a escaping. combination of a vampire, uh, a vampire um, a game and Resident Evil. Yeah. You're trying, trying to escape from this yeah, mansion. Because, yeah, yeah. you know, what... And that's what works for this movie. I mean, what, what spooky mansion is not fun? I've seen some movies where they're terrible, but the mansion was the best thing in it. <laughs> so, you know, that's some old Adams Family shit right there. <laughs> Alicia Weir, who plays the vampire, Abigail. She's the title character here. She's great as Abigail. Her mannerisms are very adult, which is appropriate for a creature that's centuries old. You know, she has she has some great lines, too. She's on par with the adult actors here. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I wish that she probably didn't talk so much <laughs> in the movie. And, I, and I'm not saying that she annoyed me. I think her lines are great. I think she delivers her lines great. But, you know, I'm just thinking, I think it would have added another layer of mystery and just overall freakiness had we uh, even. And this is where it would have worked. Even knowing the twist after it's after it's done, or even knowing the twist after we've seen the trailer, you know there could have been still some mystery there if she didn't talk, and they're just being hunted by this creature that doesn't say anything. I Valerie, you know, thought the same yeah, thing. Yeah. I was like, if she was just just a feral creature that they were locked in there with, yeah, yeah, that, and that, that would be terrifying. She yeah. gives away everything. She's just <laughs> yeah, because uh, you know, th think how crazy it would be to have this creature that's chasing you, but not only chasing you, but looking at your ass. 
laughing at you and, with and you. dancing all at the same yeah. time, but not telling you anything. Because when she talks, she explains too much. But Moop is very, <laughs> uh, you know, because she, man, look, this, 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 this bitch, she, she does whole, like, uh, uh, exposition dumps, man. Yeah. Oh I mean, not only her not talking, I thought would have been better, but just not even making her a vampire. If she was just some kind of yeah. creature with those teeth that was killing people, uh, yeah, that would have been that, actually that would have been cool too. Now, I don't mind either way because I think like just the mystery of why is this thing chasing me? Why am I here? And the movie is very effective when it's like that when she's just looking at people and just laughing, not saying a word, and then just going off on the asses. <laughs> <laughs> she's just going crazy. <laughs> Look, the less with me sometimes, not all the times, comedy and horror. Sometimes when they don't explain something, or if you don't, you know, uh, uh, if you don't know what's happening, sometimes it's funnier and sometimes it's scarier. Mm -hmm. So the less you know, sometimes it's more effective. So yeah, if it just been some creature chasing them, mm -hmm. yeah, I agree that could have been really freaky. Mm -hmm. But also, I mean, even if it's a vampire, if the vampire is chasing you and you don't know anything that was going on, and it's just a creature that's running you down, I think that would have been a cool a cooler approach myself, mm -hmm. you know, but you know, I'm making my own movie, but I think it would have been cool. Although there's some other freaky stuff in here. There's some other crazy things. Uh, you, again, they give it all away in the trailer. Uh, <laughs> what does trailer give up? <laughs> it really don't. Like near the, there's a part near the, uh, in a, in a, after the second half, oh, yeah, uh, there's a part up. with a pool full of, uh, of dead bodies. Yeah, why they give that away in the trailer? I know, why tell me everything, everything. I'm just showing it because I already showed it. Yeah, like, y'all didn't smell that the whole yeah. time you were in there? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. But anyway, uh, I, I still think that this is a, I still think that as far as a, you know, straightforward, get what you pay for monster movie, I think it's fine. I think it's, uh, I actually, I think it's, 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 it's very entertaining, it's very enjoyable, especially when you have a crowd watching it. I think it's it, it's a lot of fun that way. Especially those two women sitting behind you. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you know what, man? That's why I, that's I know because I I they were enjoying it. You didn't want to ruin man, it. It's a, it's, a, it's a horror movie. Yeah, it's yeah. a horror comedy. Right, right. You know, right. I might be a little sensitive to it, but I was like, you know, they're the, they're the perfect audience for something like this. Mm. And even when I heard them from uh, a few seats back, when I heard them like, I actually started laughing like, I don't know, you ain't gonna let them touch you like that. I was mm. like, you know what? This is fun. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. But anyway. As long as they're over there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Because up there, you're gonna <laughs> but go ahead. Uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, uh, fun, enjoyable movie. And for all the great things I said about it, I do have some criticism, some actually kind of major criticisms. Uh, I think this movie is really great in the first half. And I think it starts to lose some steam um, in as much as it stops being scary. I mean, when I said mm -hmm. it would have been better with her just being a creature, not a vampire. At the point she's a vampire, not only she's, is she talking and doing info dumps, but then it, it becomes a vampire movie. Yeah. And vampire movies come with their own baggage. And this is one <laughs> with what a lot of vampire movies like to do. They go like, oh, I don't believe that shit you saw in, in these yeah. other movies. Yeah. But some of it does work. And then some stuff they set up, say like, this works, this doesn't work. Later... Uh, they get fast and loose. Like I'm like uh, earlier, you said that didn't work, and now it's working like a charm. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Um, so it it, it kind of takes away from it. And I in the second half, I felt like it had, and I almost never say this, it had too much plot, too many twists going on. Where I was mm -hmm. like, you got something strong here. We don't need this back and forth. Um, mm -hmm. And and cre and people being characters being kept alive just to keep the movie going. I felt like the the premise is so much stronger than the actual movie. Although the first half was really delivering, and by the time I got to the second half, I was like, I mean, it's it's not like I don't like it, but I always felt like oh, this was going to be one of those big classics. A as it is, it's still a, a very fun and enjoyable movie. But I didn't love it like I was when it started. What'd you give? Me? Uh, I would, you know, I'm. I would give it a low matinee. Okay. Mm. Well, shoot. I, like I said earlier, I think the best way to experience this movie <clears throat> is without looking at none of the marketing, no trailers, none like that. Uh, I was full on ready to say this is going to be my favorite movie of the year. That that first three fourths of the movie, mm. I loved it. But when it hit like that last twenty minutes of the movie, it kind of becomes a different movie, and that's why I didn't like. Because the whole, I think the the the, the whole. <clears throat> You're in a house with a with a vampire girl and you gotta escape. I like that. I'm mm -hmm. like, let's just stay here. But the movie's like, nah, we gotta do something else. We gotta 
and it just, it, I can't say it because it's a spoiler, mm. but it, it just bothered the hell out of me. I'm like, why, why were y'all, why are y'all going this route when y'all didn't really have to? Like y'all, y'all had something there. But I'll just say, I watched this movie. I had, I, I haven't had so much fun watching a movie in a in a while. It's been probably since last year. Mm. Like the, the comedy was great. It was gonna go. It was gonna be a better than sex, but now it's it's a low man. I mean, it's a low probably. Well, probably low full price, probably. Okay, you know, it's still a good rating. Yes, yeah, mm. no, it is. No, I had, I just, I just had so much fun watching it. I kind of like the way it played with vampire lore in the movie. There's a part in here where it is one of, another twist that they do, but I thought they would. Pre- I, I enjoyed that what they did with that. Uh, and by the end, the movie goes nuts to where you know we're all drenched in blood, man, and, and, and guts and. I myself, I was sitting up there. I was glad to be soaking in it. <laughs> I, 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 was, I was having so much fun near the end, man. But I think everybody's hitting the same point here, and I agree. Uh, the ending scene rushed along to me. And I think it's where you're talking about they had too many twists. Yeah. Uh, they did some things that just did not seem convincing because they rushed it at the end. And they presented ideas that needed more time. <laughs> you, know, yeah, just, yeah. you know, just like you just listen, you can't come in here. This is a quick solution, okay? Yeah, yeah. You know, what I'm saying, you know, because that's what they did. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't tell a story. They came in and presented this because they had to help it get out. Mm-hmm. You know, well, okay, we got to figure out a way to do this yeah, shit. All right, just, oh, this is how we'll do it. And it, like, nah, nah, man, you got to put more thought into that. Uh, you know, I wish in the, I wish, I, I wish the writing was tighter near the end. Like, yeah. like like that the climax is where it's just you know they really are just like let's get on out of here yeah you know what it felt, it felt like there was two different writers like there was a writer for like that first half and there's a writer for the second half and like the, the writer for the first half got fired and yeah. then they just hired some new maybe dude. the dudes start fighting each other <laughs> <laughs> and they wouldn't radio silence no more or, or, static or the the guy who wrote the first half he had a whole year to write his stuff out and yeah. the second guy was like oh shit y'all need that today all right uh, hold on i'll be right back <laughs> The comedy was really I was looking for. I was looking to be scared. I think they could have made, like I said, they made this more serious. Your premise that you're talking about would have worked. You know what I'm saying? Don't 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 have so much talking in this. That would have worked. But they made a comedy, you know, and that's really what the emphasis were. And uh, I thought it worked. And biggest thing is, is that it's a fun cast that delivers on a crowd pleasing movie. You know, like when I when I saw the trailer for this, I said, you know what? I get the feeling that this was this is supposed to be a crowd pleaser, and I felt like that when I saw the film. Yeah, it was, it was. Yeah, I had, yeah. I, had, I had fun in there with, yeah. with the audience, you know, and that's why I didn't mind people talking and whatnot. People getting into it, it was a lot of fun. People laughed at the right times. People, you know, they jumped at the right moments, even though I'm not really big on the jump scares. Uh, but walked out feeling pretty satisfied with this, so I would give this a very high matinee. I, I enjoyed it. It delivered on most of what I was looking for in this. So you saw the trailer before you watched the movie? Yeah. Yeah, God damn. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I not only did I see the trailer, but shit, the, that man, listen, I heard a description before they said, the, uh, the movie with the vampire who dances the ballerina said, oh, kill people. Yeah, yeah, no, you know, all the stuff they, 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 the press people sent me, I just managed to not read it. I just I saw, oh, oh well, when's the screening? Okay, I wrote that down, didn't look back at I it. I didn't look at none of that. Oh, yo, no, somebody came to the house and I opened up the door. Like, Sir, have you seen the vampire movie with the ballerina chick? And I was like, oh, man, why you... <laughs> Yeah, I wonder if I'd seen all the, 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 the trailer and all that stuff, if it would have ruined, not ruined my enjoyment, but just lessened it. No, it would have ruined mine. Yeah. I know that for sure, for sure. Well, it, that's, just, that's what I'm saying. I saw the trailer. And that's why I said the strong point of this is that it didn't ruin a thing for me. Mm-hmm. If the movie's strong, I think it holds on its own. Yeah, I would have, I would have loved to have seen it with the twist in there, but I didn't. You know, and I was, and, and I'm, and no, I'm glad that y'all didn't see the trailer, and I'm glad I did because I think it's a testament to the film if it can hold up without having to depend on that twist. Well, you know, it's not one of those twists that you don't get until the third act. Yeah, it, it comes yeah. in it, it, fairly pretty, early. Probably about forty minute mark. Comes yeah, in. yeah, yeah. Um, so you know that I think that's it. And the movie has to stand up, not depending yeah. on the twist. So that's probably another reason why, because the studio is caught between doing two different things. Do we try to take the risk of not showing completely what this is, and then everybody's thinking it's just another heist movie that doesn't look that great, or do they put it out there and sell the film? As much as I'm complaining about them showing too much, I think the best idea was to sell it by showing what it was because the movie does stand on its own when you see it. So they made they made a good decision on this. It wasn't was you know, I do think if they showed the the heist going down and a girl getting kidnapped and then later people dying 
they, I, I they, think, they, yeah, yeah, just, they didn't have to point out that she was a vampire. She could still yeah. leave it as a mystery. I would love to think that, but uh, today people are stupid. Not you, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody, they, they, everybody wants everything right now. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I guarantee them black women sitting behind me. Man, this ain't the movie I thought I was looking for. Where that vampire girl come from? Oh, shit, that, 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 girl, they ain't telling there gonna be no vampires in here. Is she a vampire? <laughs> shit. Ah, yeah, yeah, man. exactly. Well, you made it to the end of the video. That must mean you really like what we do. So if you do, check out these other videos just like this one. Check out our other YouTube channels and subscribe to join our wonderful Toasty community. And as always, stay toasty.